guys and welcome back to my shelf. So today I'm going to be doing an original tag question mark. I haven't actually seen anyone do this on booktube this far. I really wanted to do something on this channel that I haven't ever done before and that is make my own tag up. But I thought what could I make a book tag up on and I thought about all my other interests and it came to film. I don't think anyone has made or I have seen anyway I don't think anyone's made a film book tag like I'm about to. If I can find some that are good, I will link them below. But like, I think this is original, but I'm not sure. It probably isn't. Probably should have looked that up. I didn't. Anyway. <laughs> So the first question is surrounding Nosferatu and the prompt for Nosferatu is a book that is dark because Nosferatu is about a vampire and has very dark themes and I've gone for two because it's my tag and I can answer with two books if I want to. The reason why I picked two is because one of them I didn't particularly like and then the other one I did like and I thought I would provide two answers for this one because of that. One I didn't particularly like is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart and you're probably thinking why would you pick a book that you didn't like? The reason why I didn't like this book was because of its dark themes and I'm not going to give any spoilers but the ending really Really put it into perspective for me and gave the book a whole new meaning. The second book that I did like, I'm going to be answering for this question, is Carval by Stephanie Garber. Obviously if you've read this you'll know how dark it is, it's basically set in a, a circus thing that nothing is real in and the two main characters Scarlet and Teller have to you know find their way out of the game and it's really dark in some places as well so. Next question is the jazz singer and the prompt for the jazz singer is your favourite first person perspective. Because the jazz singer was the first talkie, everything before the jazz singer was known as the silent era of film and the jazz singer was supposedly I think to my knowledge first film with dialogue and sound in it like corresponding together. My favourite first person perspective is kind of obvious and that is Looking for Alaska by John Green. It is written in first person and it is my favourite book of all time so obviously I had to go here. Third question is about Vertigo and the prompt for this one is a book that you were obsessed with the moment you picked it up. Vertigo has many dark themes in this one, I could have gone with dark themes again. This movie is all about everything that you would associate with obsession, like the main character is literally obsessed with this other character and so that's why the prompt for this one is about obsession. The book that I associate with my obsession from the moment that I picked it up is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline because I fell in love with this the moment that I started reading it. Some people with my enthusiasm here on booktube in my last few videos would have probably said that I would have said Scythe for this one. With Scythe I only really started to really become obsessed with it at the end towards the ending of it when I'd like met all the characters got to know them and lived in their world for a little bit but with Ready Player One it was instant and I was literally obsessed with it when I picked it up. Next question is surrounding another film that I've been studying and that is Blade Runner. The prompt for this question is a book that you didn't like at the beginning but started to like or you can flip it round if you want to a book that you liked but then ended up not like. General consensus of Blade Runner is most people nowadays say that it was really bad and people back then thought it was a really good movie. So for this one I could have gone with two answers and I'll give you the other answer I think in a minute. My answer that came to my head straight away was a book that I didn't like at the start but gradually learned to like and that is Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. It's been a while since I've answered a question with this book let me tell you. This book as you can see is really hefty, really thick and it has a total, a grand total of 600 pages and something. But obviously put me off at the start and I wasn't really sure about it at the start because it's about religion, it's about the Illuminati, it's about all of these things like the Enlightenment that I didn't really understand before going into it and now I freaking love it. It blew me away at the ending, the characters were amazing, although I didn't really understand the plot 100% of the time the characters kind of made up for that and I studied religion in sociology and most of the things that are in this book came up in my studies and now I fucking love it because I understand it and just I learned to love it like people learn to love Blade Runner. The book that I really liked at the beginning and started to dislike is the an easy answer for me that came straight to my head when I was just saying that and that is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco, Maniscalco, I don't know how to say her name. This book for me was a really good read because it was about Jack the Ripper, it was about a kick-ass you know forensic scientist who was a woman who was learning to be a scientist even though she wasn't really allowed and then shit happens in the ending that I didn't really like and that kind of ruined the rest of the stories meaning for me and I didn't like it towards the end. And the romance in this was just a boo for me. So that's the question for Blade Runner. Fifth question surrounds Titanic and the prompt for this one is a book that made your heart sink. Obviously the explanation of this one is kind of self-explanatory because the Titanic sank and everyone was sad and blah blah blah. For this one I'm going to go with Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman because the ending to this is so fucking sad and sink. If you've read this you'll understand. Sixth question is about a movie that I've been studying in film for the past year and that is Shaun of the Dead. A book or series that was really well planned. If you didn't know, 
Shaun of the Dead has this thing with a plan in it, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it on the screen. So, what's the plan? We take Pete's car, we drive over to Mum's, we go in, we take care of Philip. I'm so sorry, Philip. Then we grab Mum, we go over to Liz's place, pull up, have a cup of tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Why have we got to go to Liz's? Because we do. She dumped you. I want to be somewhere familiar. I want to know where the exits are, and I want to be allowed to smoke. Take Pete's car, go round Mum's, go in, deal with Philip. Sorry, Philip. Grab Mum, go to Liz's, pick her up, bring her back here, have a cup of tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Perfect. No. Take car, go to Mum's, kill Phil. Sorry. Grab Liz, go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. So the book that I have decided to pick for this one is Scythe by Neil Shusterman and arguably Thunderhead as well. These two are the best planned books. Oh my god, you can see that he was planning Thunderhead while he was writing Scythe because they just link together so well and it picks up off the story really well and just I can't wait for the next one. Next question is also about a movie that I've been studying and that is Train Spotting, another one of my favourite films. And this prompt is a book with characters that you love but make the wrong decisions. Because Train Spotting has so many great characters but they're heroin addicts and it's not a choice because they're obviously addicted to heroin and like addiction's hard and I get it and stuff but like they make some really bad decisions regarding this heroin addiction like Renton goes into the toilet and you know they steal TVs and medication from old people. This one I decided to go with It Only Happens in the Movies by Holly Bourne and more specifically the character Harry because Harry makes a really bad decision in this book that doesn't really affect his character too much but it affects his character and another character's relationship and it was just a really shitty choice when he was drunk. Next question is all about Greece and the prompt for this one is a character who changed themselves for good or bad reasons. The reason why I picked this prompt is because obviously Sandy in Greece changes herself for Danny to get into Danny's like eye and stuff. This one I have decided to go with Heartless by Marissa Meyer though because the main character is the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts in this book changes herself for a man and the reason why she is so angry is because she didn't get the boy that she wanted when she was a teen or a young adult and that really pissed me off about this book. I do have a spoiler free review on this on my channel so I'll link it down below but that is one of the main reasons why I didn't like this book as well so. The next question is all about the Goonies and the prompt for this one is a book that celebrates the underdog. This one I actually don't own, I've gone with Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia slash Zapier. The main character in my opinion is an underdog, she's really this kick-ass author who's really popular and everyone loves Sea of Monsters but no one knows it's her and therefore she is the underdog. And the last question is surrounding by far the most iconic film in the film community and that is Pulp Fiction. I wore this shirt on purpose, there's no denying that. This prompt because Pulp Fiction has loads of different perspectives I've decided to go with a favourite book of yours that has multiple perspectives. This one I decided to go with The Nowhere Girl by Amy Reid. Although it isn't like Pulp Fiction, those are different you know stories and stuff going on with this like there is in Pulp Fiction I thought it was very similar. So that is my original film tag. I'm really sorry if there are other film tags out there that are similar to this one. If there are any better ones than this, I will link them in the description box below, along with my Heartless review. I also have reviews for Scythe and Thunderhead up on my channel by the time this goes up, so I'll also link them down below too. I also have one for Ready Player One, so I'll link all the reviews in the description box below. The questions along with who I'm tagging will be down below for you. So you can go on there, see who I've tagged and see the questions and copy and paste them if you want to do this tag. I really, really hope that people do this. Please tag me on Twitter at underscore shackattack. If you do this tag, I really want to see you all do it and see what you answer with and I'd really, really be grateful if you did, please. If you like this video, please give a massive thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time that I upload. Bye! But I feel just like a nerd watching birds, watching me here.